Hello, hello. Welcome to semester two, lab seven. This is question two, all right? So uh, in your lab manual, the question should look like this, all right? If you're watching this on YouTube or other streaming platforms, then you should probably see the year and Orion in the title, okay? So here you will see that there is a ruler and you are asked to measure and record the width of one of the meter rules, all right? So I'll pop up the table cam now. And you will see this is the pretty standard meter rule. So get ready to measure. You can pause the video at any time. So I will try my best to align this. Let me blow this up so I can see. Align this properly so you can measure the width of the ruler. Alright, so you can pause the video anytime. Can measure the width of the ruler now. If you want to measure several position, that is also okay. So I'm gonna just measure around with a slightly different length. So whenever you're not sure whether you need to repeat reading, just repeat lah. Two wise is good enough. Okay, so just pause the video and write what you think the value of the width of the ruler. Okay. So that's it. Let's move on to the next part. So in this uh, next part, you are to select two longer pieces of string and tie the string, tie the ends to make a loop and measure and record the length of this loop. Okay. So I've already tied the string, pre-tied. So I'm going to bring it up to the table camera, okay? And you're supposed to repeat uh, repeat part two, which is tie the string to make a loop on another long piece of string. And the length of the loop should be the same, okay? Just FYI, it should be the same. All right, so I'm going to bloop up the table camera now. Okay, so this is my, my string. I guess I have to elevate the camera. Okay, I believe that this is elevated. If you're watching this on the phone, you may not be able to see it clearly. So you could uh, always, uh, I guess, use a <laughs> PC if it's available to you. Okay, so on one end, uh, I have uh, put the knot on 1cm here. Okay, no, on 0cm, sorry. So this part, we can assume it's good enough. And here, for you to read on the other end, where my hand is, I'm going to put my pen to drag it so that you can read where the string ends. Okay, so you can read where the string ends. You can pause the video now to take the reading. I will zoom in again after the cut. So if you think this is good enough, you can pause and take the reading. I will zoom in after the cut. Okay, give me a sec. Two minutes. Okay, so this is after the cut. And uh, the top end of the string, this side, is, this side is still connected to zero. Or it's still touching zero. Just gotta trust me lah, okay. So I'm gonna still drag this. And then you can measure. I did notice that this string can have a variable length depending on whether I exert a force or not. So I'm going to exert a force because later in this experiment, uh, I'm going to hang something on the string. So there's probably some downward force. So I will try to make up for that by extending this a bit. So now this is the value of L. You may want to take repeated readings. Okay, so the first one. Yeah, I don't know, the second one. Alright, so rough, you roughly estimate lah where the length ends. Okay, so that's the reading for the first value of L. We are going to repeat this for the shorter length of string. So to prevent me from moving the camera too much, because ain't nobody got time for that, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so once we measure the length L, they will ask you to hang the ruler like this. Oh. 
you will clamp the ruler on top and then you suspend the ruler on, on at below. Okay, so before I move on to this to measure this distance d, which you will use the 30 cm rule to do so, I will talk about this part. We are going to repeat b for shorter lengths of string, meaning to say I need to measure this l for the shorter length. Okay, so just now it was for the longer length, that 40 something cm is here. 46, I think, 46 point something. Okay, so then I'm going to repeat again. But now this is for the shorter length of string, part B, shorter L. This is for the shorter L. So I'll bloop up the table cam again for you. Bloop. Okay, so this is the shorter string. And I think this one, I'm going to repeat the procedure again. So as usual, I will try to find the zero mark because it's easier to read from zero. Of course, in the actual exam, you can measure this however you want to. Okay, so I'm going to hold down this one, drag this. And now you will have another value for L. This is the shorter L. Okay, so you can pause the video at any time and take the reading of L. Pause the video at any time, take the reading of L. This is a shorter L. Shorter L. All right. So we're going to now uh, go back to the setup. Okay. So you have already measured the shorter L. Now I'm going to readjust the entire camera so that we can see this front view. And then you can measure the D. Okay, and uh, yeah, we'll get to that, BRB. All right, so I'm back and I've set up this setting. We're going to now have to measure D, this value of D, okay? And after we measure this D, which I will show you later on the camera, okay? You will do your calculation and estimate the percentage uncertainty of D. It should be, you should know what to do by now, all right? And then after that, we will do this where there's some form of oscillation. Okay, so we're going to move the left end of the bottom rule towards me and the right end away from me, release, and then you will see that the ruler will oscillate front and back. Okay, move away from you, move towards you, completing a swing. So we will have to measure the time taken for a complete swing. All right, and then by timing several, determine the accurate value for T. We're going to repeat this again for the shorter length, measure D, do what is necessary to measure T. Okay, so I repeat, uh, we will measure this distance D, and then I will oscillate the ruler maybe two, three times, you measure the period. Then I will replace this with a shorter string, you measure the D as well, distance here to here, and then repeat the period measurement. I want to prop up the table cam for you, give me a sec. So that you can see. Okay, so this is the thing. I have tried my best to make it vertical, horizontal, whatever, lah, but it's also dependent on the angle of this camera here. Okay, so that would be that. And uh, here's what will happen. Let me turn off my camera. Okay, and um, what will happen now is we will use this camera to capture the oscillation. So I'm going to walk over there and oscillate. Okay, in the meantime, I can't bring my headset with me. Okay, as you can tell that there are several problems. Uh, maybe I purposely didn't do it perfectly. 
but remember to write that down in your limitation, okay? So I'm pretty sure you can tell that this camera is not close enough, all right? So what I'll do is I'll bring you close here, right? I'll bring you close to here so you can observe the oscillation of one side, which is the easier way to observe oscillation than to watch the whole thing. But the whole idea is this one, well, I can't reach. This one will go here, and then we'll swing forward, we'll swing for backward, forward, backward, forward. Okay, so we'll just let it be. All right, so I'll bring the camera up close, and hopefully it's not too shaky. And then you can see what is happening, and we get to measure D at the same time. Okay, I am back, I think. Yes, I am. All right, so I will do some gymnastics. <laughs> Okay, and bring the ruler at the back closer so you can take the bottom reading. So obviously this angle is not perfect, but again, I'm a one-person camera crew. So use your brilliant deductive skills to measure or take the reading of the bottom of the top ruler. Okay, so this is the first reading. It will be the reading of the bottom of the top ruler. Pause the video if you need it. And then I'm going to move the camera or move the setup a bit so you can see the bottom, or the top of the bottom ruler. So once again, this is the bottom of the top ruler. And then I'm going to move the camera now. Whoops. Okay, so we don't see this here. Meaning I gotta angle it down. So give me a sec. Let me pause. Okay, we're back. This is the whoops. Okay, I'm balancing my camera at very precarious positions. This for pause and take the reading of the bottom of the top meter rule. Okay, so the difference between these two readings should give you the value of D. Pause and take the reading. Alright, so next. Let's look at the shorter length. Okay, we are back again. Uh, still the long string. Okay, the string is still long. And now I'm going to oscillate it. I have turned off the fan in my room. So I'll oscillate it. And then you can time the period of oscillation. Right. Okay, are you ready? Give me a sec. I need to adjust my position. Life is hard when you want to record alone. You don't even have a proper mic. Okay, come. Let's go. So I'm going to move this backwards and the other side is move forward and then I will release and then you will time the oscillation. Try your best. Observe the movement of one end. This will be the first try. Again, you can always replay the video. All right, I want to repeat again for the second try. And then one last time for the third try. So as you measure the period, think of all the limitations in this question. All right, so I'm gonna now pause the recording, uh, replace the strings, the white color string with the shorter loop. We will measure the value of W and also the period. Back again, and here you can see that we have the shorter end of the loop. All right, I'm going to bring the camera close with the ruler at the back so you can measure the value of W. All right, let's go. Okay, I'm going to try my best to speak up, but I can't wear my mic now. Not to make no sense. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this up. 
okay so i guess you cannot capture so i will go in this will be the bottom of the top ruler pause and take the reading and this is the top of the bottom ruler pause and take the reading okay so you have both readings now i'm going to oscillate a little beautiful setup here and then we adjust the angle a bit you can check out my books while I'm at it okay so now I will oscillate this in you will time the oscillation okay I will oscillate this and you will time the oscillation First try, let's go. Oh, so blurry on my camera. Right, doesn't matter. This is question two for a reason. Let me try to angle it a bit so we can see it. All right, second try. Let's go. Okay, and then we're gonna look at the third and final try to measure this oscillation. I'm gonna pull it back. And let's go. Alright, I believe that's it for the whole experiment. You have more than enough data to finish up the lab report. Just observe this one and think of all the limitations and uncertainty and how to improve. Alright, so I wish you the best in this. I'll see you in the next one. If you're wondering why it's so soft, because i got to hold my mic this way. Alright, bye-bye.